What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. So guys today we are doing a walkthrough or a guide for the Duggan robbery for the people that don't know what this is exactly. I would really recommend that you first watch a guide on the salvage chart. You can do so by clicking top right right now or click the first link in the description. The first thing that we have to do is the scope out mission. Very simple so I will also go over it very fast. You just have to take some pictures. On the bottom right it says three photographs but for me it was just two. It was one of the main entrance and then also one of the entrance of the VIP area. After the scope up mission we can first do the two mandatory setup missions. The first one is bypass module. Very simple. First you have to destroy three signal jammers. You can lock onto these with humming missiles so that's pretty easy. Then you have to go to a Meriwether lockup. Also kill some guys. You can again do this with a helicopter for example over here. I'm just using the Sparrow. When you're done, shoot the control panel, the garage door will open, a kind of juggernaut will appear, very easy to take out with, for example, the minigun. Then you have to take the bypass module and simply return to the salvage yard. The second mission is the VIP pass. For this one, we have to go back to the arena. Now, this mission, I think you can do it entirely stealth, but I didn't realize the cameras were turning, so I got spotted immediately. Of course, if you get spotted, you cannot do it stealth anymore and you will just have to kill the guards. But the mission stays the same, you just have to go to Peter's office first, you will realize it's locked, you will need a kind of key card to open it. Across the garage there is a locked room, you will have to do a hack to open the door and then inside you can find the key card. I'm not sure if the key card is always in the same location, but if you walk by it you will always see a green arrow, so this should make it very easy to find it. Take the key card, go back to Peter's office, open the door, and then inside of Peter's office you will find the VIP pass again. It will be somewhere when you walk by it you will just see a green arrow again. So this should also make it easier to find this. After you have the VIP pass simply exit the workshop and return it to the salvage yard. There is also one optional mission. I didn't do it but if you do this basically the security inside of the arena will have less armor. If you want you can do this but I can tell you guys the final is already pretty easy. The only thing that remains now is the two mandatory tasks that we also have to do. So the tasks, you can find them randomly in your lobby. They are marked on the map with a green duffel bag. When you go there, there will be a green circle. Go near this green circle, press right on D-pad and then um, Jamal will call you. For this mission, the first one, we will have to steal the LS Panic trailer. So we will have to go inside the warehouse, kill everybody, then try to get in the trailer. You will notice that you will need a key. And then in the back of this warehouse, there is kind of a office. Inside of this office, you can find the key. Take this key, get in the trailer, get out. Then you will have to lose the cops. For this, by the way, you cannot call Lester. And then you have to hide the trailer somewhere where we will use it in the final. For the second task, you will have to go to a clothing store. Again, it will be marked on the map with a green duffel bag. So if you want to find the task, just look on your map. By the way, to see these green duffel bags, you also have to be registered as a boss. So either a CEO or a MC president. Inside of the clothing store, just look for the purple duffel bag. Again, when you walk by it, you will see a green arrow. When you get out, you will have to lose the cops again. Then return it to the salvage yard and then you are ready to start the robbery. When you start the final, first thing that you have to do is get the LS Panic trailer. So together with the outfit and also the VIP pass, this is kind of a sneaky entrance into the arena without getting spotted. When you get to the arena with the truck, just go inside and then immediately on the right, you will see a lady in front of a door. This is the VIP area. Show your VIP pass to this lady and then you can enter. When you get inside, immediately go downstairs. On the left side, there will be an elevator. With this elevator, we will go to the private box of the Duggans and from this moment on, you have to start shooting. So from this moment on, it will not be stealth anymore. When you get there, you will notice that some of the guards will have armor. If you do the optional mission, they will have less armor. So if you find this part difficult, you can maybe go ahead and do the optional mission. After you clear out the area, you can go to the telescopes. It doesn't matter, by the way, which one you use. And then you will have to find the car that we're going to steal, the Gauntlet Hellfire. Now, if you're having trouble to find it, I have noticed that at first the car isn't even in the arena. So you definitely have to wait for a bit. And then it's the car with the green and yellow livery. It's also the same car, by the way, that is in the thumbnail of this video. After you find it, you have to sit in one of the seats with a green light next to it. We're going to use a drone 
and a EMP to kind of disable the Gauntlet Hellfire so that we can go ahead and take it. Now this, to be honest, it took me quite a while. It took me longer than expected. But I think the easiest method is just to fly in the opposite direction of the Hellfire so you can see the car moving on the map. You have to fly low and then when the Hellfire gets in front of you, activate the EMP. You can see the controls on the bottom right. So on PlayStation it's R1, I think on Xbox it's RB. After this you will automatically go downstairs, you will have to kill some guards and then you can enter the arena itself which is pretty cool because you never really enter the arena on foot. You will have to go to the location of the Hellfire, get in, then you will also have to drive around for a bit because you have to install the bypass module, but after this you can go ahead and exit the arena. When you're out it will first say that you will have to take the car to the salvage yard, but there is a bomb in this car so you first have to go to how. He will disable the bomb and then you can take it to the salvage yard. When you're going to how, by the way, there is a timer. So make sure that you're in time so that the bomb doesn't detonate. And also, by the way, one of the challenges for this heist, which we will see at the end, is that you will have to get to how in one minute. So if you want to complete this challenge, I would say place a waypoint immediately to house after you exit the arena and then you can probably complete this. After you're done, you can go to the salvage yard. And then the robbery is over. The challenges for this mission is over 15 headshots. Disable target vehicle on first attempt. So this is with the EMP. I didn't manage to do this. And then also reach how in one minute. So this is what I said. If you get to how in one minute after you exit the arena. So for this of course you will have to go directly there. If you complete all three challenges by the way. You will get 10k and then also a additional 20k. Which will give you 50k in total. So guys, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out the Discord in the description and peace out you guys.